Senior Capstone Project is um, basically just our shots as seniors to kind of just show off like what we've learned the past four years and then also just sort of like, you know, giving us like the feel for like what we need to do in the real world. Like if we don't have any resources at our fingertips, it's all just like, you know, us putting together a production um, basically from scratch. So you are the producer, you take care of all the different facets of the show and it's pretty much just all on you. I knew I wanted to do a senior capstone um, my freshman year. I saw how cool they looked my freshman year and I just was like, I really want to do something like this. This is great. So I, I don't know, I just knew that it was just like a really good project and they all just looked really cool and I really wanted to do that as well. I chose a feminine ending uh, before senior year started uh, during the summer. Um, I read a ton of plays and I just was not finding something that I really connected with. Um, then I had a friend kind of call me out of the blue and was like, oh, I read this play and it, you know, it really reminded me of you, you should read it. And she was absolutely right. And so I kind of went from there. And uh, so I think it just really is dealing with a lot of things that I personally am dealing with. So much work goes into making a senior capstone. Um, we had to write a humongous proposal um, at the beginning of last semester so that we could show that we knew exactly what we were doing, exactly how we wanted to plan this out, and that they knew that we were ready for something like this. So it is a ton of work. I, I mean, I live, breathe, sleep, theater. So I'm always at the theater. Um, but it's just been a lot, it's been a lot of work because, you know, for me personally, I've had to, I had to ask around for people to see like who could take on different roles. Like I asked uh, my friend Jen to be the director. I asked um, several friends to be designers and just other people who I knew like just would do a good job. And um, kind of just like keeping up to date with that. Like I, I'm primarily an actor, but I also do a lot of directing, and so that was kind of weird for me to like take a step back um, and not like control every facet. But I also needed to sit in on um, meetings and you know all the different production meetings to make sure everything was on track. So yeah, it's just you know there's so many different things you have to do and so many things that can't go wrong and probably will. And then you, like how you deal with them is how you're graded. Now that I've you know, I'm drawing near the end of my senior capstone experience. It, it was a lot of work, but it was all very worthwhile. Um, I really feel like I've grown as an actor, um, as well as just like a general theater creator, because you do have to control so many different facets and it's all on you. And if, thing, if things go wrong, you need to figure out how to fix it and how to move on and just keep going. Also, I've learned that people just like really surprise you either for good or for bad. Um, we've had people who said they were going to do things and then just didn't do things and you know we had to deal with those issues but then also people you know really stepped up to the plate when they didn't need to and went above and beyond their work requirements. I really hope the audience likes the show. I, I personally think it's a play that a lot of people can relate to just dealing with like what you want to do with your life. I know that's not always clear. I feel like that's something a lot of people go through um, but you know they don't like it, oh well, because this has really just been a growing experience for me and that, that's been like the most important part.